गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल आई एम डॉक्टर गीतांजलि भट्ट शर्मा फ्रॉम उत्तराखंड ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी टुडे वी विल लर्न द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ मोनोपोलिस्टिक कॉम्पिटिशन एंड ऑलिगोपोली द टॉपिक्स वी विल कवर इन दिस सेशन आर कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ मोनोपोलिस्टिक कॉम्पिटिशन इट्स फीचर्स डिसएडवांटेज ऑफ मोनोपोलिस्टिक कॉम्पिटिशन मीनिंग ऑफ ऑलिगोपोली फीचर्स ऑफ ऑलिगोपोली टाइप्स ऑफ ऑलिगोपोली and finally models of oligopoly now let's start with monopolistic competition as monopolistic competition is a market structure characterized by a large number of firms competing against each other with products that are similar but not identical in monopolistic competition each firm has some degree of market power which means they have the ability to influence the price of their product we can understand monopolistic competition through some examples first of all restaurant restaurant compete on quality of food as much as price product differentiation is a key element of the business there are relatively low barriers to entry in setting up a new restaurant secondly grocery stores we can see in grocery stores there are large number of firms that sell many of the same products but with distinct branding and marketing moving on to the clothing which is one of the example of monopolistic competition like designer label clothes are about the brand and product differentiation and finally tv programs we can see through globalization has increased the diversity of tv programs from network around the world consumers can choose between domestic channels but also imports from other countries and new services such as now let's discuss the features of monopolistic competition first feature of monopolistic competition is product differentiation in monopolistic competition each firm offers a product or service that is somewhat differentiated from those of its competitors the differentiation can be based on factors such as the branding quality location design or customer service by offering slightly different products firms aim to capture a niche marketing and creates a degree of marketing power now the second feature is many firms the market structure of monopolistic competition involves a large number of firms each producing a differentiated product this means that no single firm has a significant market share and each firm actions have limited impact on the overall market now next one is free entry and exit of firms entry and exit barriers in monopolistic competition are relatively low compared to other market structures like monopoly or oligopoly new firms can enter the market if they believe they can differentiate the product and attract customers similarly firms can exit the market without facing significant obstacles if they find it unprofitable now the next is demand and pricing each firm in monopolistic competition faces a downward sloping demand curve for its product due to product differentiation this allows firms to have some degree of pricing power meaning they can set price above its marginal cost however they must allow consider the price elasticity of demand and the competitive responses of the other firms in the market now the next is short run profit in the short run firms in monopolistic competition may earn economic profit or losses it depends on the factors such as demand cost and product differentiation 
firms can adjust adjust their prices and output level in response to changing the marketing conditions apart from the features there are some disadvantages of monopolistic competition the first one is the high cost the high cost associated with monopolistic competition primarily stems from the inefficiency created by excessive advertising product differentiation and potential losses of economy of scale next is high expenses due to advertising and product differentiation efforts required to stand out in the market there can lead to increased cost for both the consumers and business the third disadvantage is disproportionate value do companies gain significant advantages from engaging in monopolistic competition consumers experience no such benefits like branding does not always signal the best value as similar products perform similar functions as other goods at a fraction of the prices moving on to the another concept that is oligopoly as we know oligopoly is derived from the two greek words oligo and polis oligo means few and polis means seller so the name itself suggest oligopoly oligopoly is a market structure characterized by a small number of large firms dominating the industry in a oligopolist market these firms have significant market power often controlling the majority of the market share due to the limited number of competitors in oligopoly each firm's action can have a substantial impact on market outcomes now let's discuss few examples of oligopoly like we can see in the airline industry in many reasons the airline industry is dominated by a few major carriers for example in the united state you have american airlines delta airlines controlling a significant portion of the market these airlines often compete intensely on routes fares and services however due to high barriers to entry like a regulatory requirement significant capital investment new competitors finds very difficult or challenging to enter the market and establish themselves in the airline in the industry oligopolist behavior is evident in ex- action such as pride prize leadership where one airline changes fares and other often follow suit additionally there may be collusion or implicit agreement among competitors to establish prices or control capacity the next is telecom industry in many countries the telecom industry is characterized by a few major players providing services such as mobile internet and landline communication these companies often invest heavily in infrastructure such as fiber optic networks and cell towers which act as a significant barrier to entry for a new competitors in oligopoly market in the oligopoly market the oligopolist behavior is observed in pricing strategies service offerings and market expansion efforts competitors closely monitor each other action and adjust their strategies accordingly the third example is netflix now learners you can see in netflix in the streaming video industry netflix is a very dominant player along with a few other major competitors like amazon prime video and disney plus which are very popular nowadays these companies invest heavily in original content production and licensing agreement to attract their subscribers 
the high cost of content creation services act as a barrier to entry for a new competitors the oligopolist behavior is evident in pricing strategies and content availability competitors often closely match each other's subscription prices and we for exclusive rights to popular shows and movies the next is the soft drink industries in the soft drink industries the soft drink industry is dominated by a few major players like coca cola pepsi these companies control a significant portion of the market share and invest heavily in such as advertising distribution network and brand loyalty the oligopolist behavior is observed in pricing strategies new product launches and market expansion efforts in this competitors closely monitors each other action and may responds with similar product offering or promotional campaign in all these industries the presence of a small number of dominating firms high barriers to entry and interdependence among competitors are characteristics of oligopoly these firms have significant market power and often engage in strategic behavior to maintain their competitive position and influence the market outcome now moving on to the features of oligopoly the first feature of oligopoly is few dominant firms oligopoly market are characterized by a small number of large firms often referred to as oligopolist dominating the industry these firms have a significant market share which gives them substantial influence over market outcome the next is high barriers to entry barriers to entry in oligopoly are typically high which makes it very difficult for new firms to enter the market and compete with existing firms firms like patents or license next is interdependence one of the defining feature of oligopoly is the interdependence among firms each firm's descriptions regarding pricing output level advertising and product development directly affects its customers or competitors strategies and market outcomes firm must carefully consider the potential reactions of rival firms when making strategic decision now the next is strategic behavior firms in oligopoly engage in strategic behavior where they anticipate and react to the action of their competitors this can lead to complex game theoretic situation such as price competition collusion price leadership or strategic alliances firm may engage in tactic collusion to maintain stable price or engage in aggressive competitive tactics to gain market share the other one is price rigidity oligopolist firms often exhibit price rigidity meaning they are the hesitant to change the price frequently in response to changes in demand or cost instead they may use non price strategies such as advertising product differentiation or quality improvement to compete for market shares further we will discuss the types of oligopoly the first one is pure or perfect oligopoly in this if the firm produce homogeneous product then it is called pure oligopoly though it is rare to find pure oligopoly situations for example cement steel aluminum and chemical producing industries often approaches pure oligopoly next is imperfect or we can say differentiated oligopoly if the firms produce differentiated products then it is called differentiated or imperfect oligopoly the goods produced by different firms have their own 
distinguishing characteristics, yet all of them are close substitute of each other. For example, passenger's car, cigarette or soft drink. Next is collusive oligopoly. If the firms cooperate with each other in determining price and output or both, it is known as collusive oligopoly or the other, other name is cooperative oligopoly. For example, the collusive oligopoly we can see in OPEC organization. OPEC organization of the petroleum exporting countries where firms in the same industry formally agree on pricing and output level. It is known as cartel. The next is non-collusive oligopoly. If the firm in an oligopoly market compete, if firms in an oligopoly market compete with each other, it is called non-collusive or the other name is non-cooperative oligopoly. It is a situation where the firms follow their own price and quantity and output policy independent of its rival firm. The example of non-collusive oligopoly are automobile industry. In this ind industry, we can see these firms compete aggressively but do not engage in explicit collusion. The next oligopoly is open oligopoly. Open oligopoly refers when any new firm enter the oligopoly market can compete with the existing firms to establish a hold. Firms can freely enter in the market in open oligopoly. And there are the barriers to entry. Barriers to entry do not exist, exist in the open oligopoly. Now the next is closed oligopoly. If the entry is re strictly restricted, restricted, it is known as closed oligopoly. The restriction is due to various barriers such as high initial investment cost or patent or government regulation. Now the next we will discuss models of oligopoly. The first and the popular model of oligopoly is Cornot model. It is named after the French economist Augustin Cornot. This model assumes that firms compete by choosing quantities of output simultaneously. Each firm determines its quantity of output taking into account the anticipated reaction of its rivals. This reaction depends on the perceived demand curve. The equilibrium in this model occurs which, when each firm is producing the quantity that maximizes the profit given the expected outcome, outcome of its competitors. Now the next model is Bertrand model. Named after the French economist Joseph Bertrand, in this model assumes that firms compete by setting prices simultaneously. Each firm sets its price anticipating the price set by its rivals. Consumers then choose of the firm offering the lowest price. The equilibrium in this model occurs when all firms set prices equal to their marginal cost leading to a situation where prices are driven down to marginal cost level similar to the perfect competition. The next model is Steckelberg model named after the German economist Heinrich von Steckelberg. This model assumes that firms compete sequentially with one firm acting as a leader and the other as a followers. The leader firm sets its quantity or price first, taking into account the expected reactions of the follower firms. The follower firms then make their decisions knowing the choice of the leader. The equilibrium in this model occurs when each firm is 
maximizing its profit given the action of its competitors and the leader typically enjoys a strategic advantage over the followers now the next is king demand curve model this model is based on the idea that firms face a demand curve with a king at the current price level below the current price the demand curve is highly elastic because firms expect their rivals too much to match any price decreases above the current price the demand curve is relatively inelastic because firms are hesitant to raise price fearing that rivals will not follow suit the equilibrium in this model often results in price stability around the king point as firms have very little incentive to change price finally the last model is game theory game theory provides a framework for analyzing strategic interactions among firms in oligopolist market it model decisions making by firm as strategic games where each firm's action depend on the action of others and payoffs associated with different outcomes equilibrium outcome in this theory such as nash equilibrium or dominant strategy equilibrium are analyzed to understand the likely behavior and outcome in the oligopolist market now apart from its features and types there are some limitations of oligopoly the first limitations limitation of oligopoly is limited competition oligopolist markets often have a small number of firms dominating the industry the limited competition can lead to higher prices for consumers and reduced innovative innovations compared to more competitive market price resiliency firms and oligopolies often engage in strategic pricing behavior leading to price rigidity prices may not adjust quickly in response to changes in demand or cost which may result in market inefficiencies the next is collusion and cartels oligopolist firms may collude to restrict competition and maximize profit this can lead to the formation of cartels where firms cooperate to fix price allocate its market share or engage in other anti competitive practices which may harm consumer welfare the next challenge is barriers to entry oligopolist markets often have high barriers to entry such as economy of scale capital requirement and government regulation these barriers can limit the entry of new firms which may reduce competition and innovation in the market next is product differentiation oligopolist firms often engage in product differentiation strategies to compete with each other while this can benefit consumers by offering a variety of product and services but it can also lead, lead to brand loyalty and reduces price sensitivity further limiting competition now the other is strategic interdependence firms in oligopolist market are highly interdependent means that their action directly influence each other's profit market outcome the strategic interdependence can lead to complex complex decision making processes and uncertainty about competitors reactions now the other point is risk of price war oligopolist markets are prone to price war where firms aggressively lower prices to gain market share or retaliate against competitors these prices war can lead to reduce profit for all the firms involved and 
destabilize the market. The other is inefficiency. Oligopolies may lead to allocative and productive inefficiencies. Allocative inefficiencies occur when resources are not allocated in the most valued use, while productive inefficiency arises when firms do not produce at the lowest possible cost. The other limitation or challenge is lack of innovation. Due to reduced competition and the focus on maintaining market share, oligopolist firms may have less incentive to innovate compared to firms in more competitive market. This can hinder technological progress and economic growth. So we can see overall while oligopoly can lead to certain advantages such as economy of scale and product differentiation, it also poses significant challenges in terms of competition, pricing behavior and market efficiency. This is all about monopolistic competition and oligopoly. Now we will conclude with some points. Monopolistic competition leads to the diverse range of products and brands. The demand curves in individual companies for monopolistic competition are downward sloping. Oligopoly leads to interdependence among a small number of firms and the demand curve in oligopoly market slopes downward. Thank you all for your attention.